I'm Lucia Beacon. I do makeup. I work in fashion. I do fashion shows, magazines, fashion brands for their advertising campaigns. On each show, we have um, a meeting with the designer, which is called a fitting. So we go through references and we go through their collection, their inspiration. And with them and the stylist and the hairdresser, we come up with an idea for the makeup and we do the trial. Because this is too blue. Yeah. It needs to be like a little bit off, you know? With the black. Yeah, with the yeah. black, yeah, for sure. Sometimes it works straight away, sometimes you have to do a few looks for them. Okay. Yesterday we did a test and um, I'm quite excited, there's a lot of makeup involved. It's, um, the look is somewhere between Debbie Harry and the Runaways, but sort of done by a groupie and, it's kind of, and it kind of feels like it's from the gig from the night before. I obviously have a team of people that work with me, about 10 to 12 people, depending on how many models we have on the day. Because I don't want it to feel like a sort of glamorous cut eye, it's more like a rock and roll. We then have about three hours to get the girls ready on the day. Obviously it changes all the time, but I think I've got to a point where I've got a really strong team and I'm really happy. And that's why I feel like this fashion week has gone really well, I've been really calm and I feel like I had a great support there, yeah, and Siobhan, my first assistant, she's been with me for three years now, so she knows exactly, you know, what I mean. Sometimes, sometimes I get so nervous, the words don't come out. <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know about the blue. Henry had second thoughts on the day of the, sh of the show, so that was a little bit of a stressful moment where I had to change the makeup, but it just was, it, it, instinctively, he wasn't feeling it. Obviously, you want it to run smooth all the time, you don't want drama. But when it happened, and you can really think on your feet, and you can really sort of change things around and, and make the look and the show work, and obviously seeing that Henry was really happy in the end was, you know, was a great success, I thought. It's 6.30 and we're on our way to the Margaret Howell show. Um, it's way too early, I need a coffee. <laughs> and we're on track, we've only got three, three girls we haven't touched. I'll call run through in 10. Providing the run through is 20 minutes gives us 40 yeah. to be done dead on time. Okay. So good, Fantastic. real good. Beautiful brows. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Seeing a picture come together, um, you know, you grow up like looking at magazines or things and you, you know, you, you're mesmerized by those things but you have no idea how they happen and then, you know, then you become part of it. It's really, it's really interesting. The advice that I would give to myself when I was 20, the other question, <laughs> is to just really to, to trust your instinct, to be really as instinctive as you can, as close to yourself as you can. Because you know, sometimes you feel like um, you can get distracted and pleasing people, and but you know, you need to get back to your core. <laughs>